Mr. Ian's Book Club. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Mr. Ian's Book Club. I'm so glad you're here to read with me today. Our book is The Mountains Crack Up. by Jasper Tompkins. The mountains crack up. Let's get into it. It says, Happy Mountain Dreams from Jasper Tompkins. Special signed book. The mountains crack up. Written and illustrated by Jasper Tompkins. Once there were three mountains. who ordered their favorite animals from a catalog. Of course, the animals had to eat, so they ordered refrigerators full of food. And just for fun, the mountains ordered flashlights for the giraffes, decks of cards for the turtles, and a record player for the bears. Look at this drawing. There are so many things going on. I see giraffes who have flashlights and they're eating what looks like cake. There's turtles who have playing cards, and they're playing. There's so many things in those refrigerators, all that food. And there's some bears listening to music. Right there. So much going on. The nights were getting colder and colder. And the family and the animals needed a warm place to sleep. Finally, one little bear secretly ordered three big hats for the mountains. And from then on, they all slept safe and cozy every night. There they are in their big hats. You see those big boxes that they came in when they ordered them from the catalog? <laughs> One cold morning, the animals woke up to find little white things falling from the sky. Maybe they are messages, said a giraffe. Maybe they are dangerous, said a turtle. No, I think they are pieces of white bread, said a hungry bear as he caught one with his paw. There they are. What do you think it is? I think it's snow. Brrr. See this guy catching the snow in his hand? Look at them. They're hiding underneath the hat over here, staying out of the snow. They don't know what it is. When the ground was completely white, three bears took a test walk. They liked the sound of their crunchy footsteps and the feeling of the snow between their toes. After a short distance, they turned around and laughed when they saw their big footprints. They then yelled for others to come and join the fun. Come on, come play with us in the snow. There they are. What a wonderful winter it was. The giraffes liked to pretend they were sharks. And the turtles played on their built-in sleds, and the bears fell over backwards and made bear angels. The mountains were thrilled to see all this activity. The hats kept the snow off their eyes. There they are, watching everyone have a blast. Enjoy the winter, friends. <laughs> when the wild blizzards came, the animals crawled under the turtles' hats, because it felt safe to be in the middle. Of course, they all played cards until the storm was over. You can barely see the mountains with all that snow. As winter passed and the sun rose higher and higher, the snow began to melt. It dripped and dripped until finally one grand spring day, it was time to take off their hats. Take them off, mountains. The giraffes are helping. You can see the refrigerators are coming back out. There they are, taking the hat off of the middle mountain. The bears and giraffes are working together, and they're putting them back in these big boxes. It was quite a day of work. When the hats were safely back in their boxes, the animals all took a nap in the warm sun. The mountains felt the wind again and listened to the birds. Everybody's tired from a day of packing those hats back into the boxes. One little bear who was very hungry quietly tiptoed to the refrigerator for a snack. While he was eating, he noticed that the three mailboxes were just reappearing from under the melting snow. He ran down to see if there might be any mail. Where is he? I see the mailboxes and he's going down there after checking out 
the refrigerator and getting a snack because he was so hungry. There he is. To his surprise, there was only one envelope from the whole winter. The little bear opened it up and cried out with astonishment. It was the bill for everything they had ordered from the catalog. He ran back to tell the others. Oh, oh the bill's here. We got to pay it. I like how you can see the pictures of the mountains on each mailbox so they know which mountain received what. That night they had a big meeting. Everyone was concerned. There were many ideas about how to pay the bill. Finally, one mountain suggested that they ask the grandfather mountains for advice. They all agreed it was the best thing to do. Oh, there's their big meeting around a big campfire they made. Look at that middle mountain looking kind of silly there. All those animals concerned about how to pay the bill, working together to find a solution. The next morning, five of the bears had an early breakfast. When their tummies were full, they went down to the mailboxes to wait for the mail truck. There they are eating from the refrigerator. So early that the stars are still out. When the truck pulled to a stop, the driver told the bears that they had to sit in the back, hold their stamps, and be quiet like the rest of the packages. It was a long, bumpy journey, but finally, just before sunset, they stopped at the Grandfather Mountain's mailboxes. There they are in the back of the mail truck, holding on to their stamps. That's their postage to make sure that their trip is paid for. And there's the driver up in front. I can see those mountains in the, in the distance there. The bears walked up the path and they stopped and stared in amazement. There were the grandfather mountains. The bears did not know what to say. Good evening, boomed the mountains. Hello, said the bears. And then they began to tell the story of the bill. Those are the big rocky grandfather mountains. And there's the bears, five of them arriving to tell the story. Try and get some assistance and some ideas. When the bears were finished, the mountains began to laugh. You are all such treasures. How can you be in debt? The bears were puzzled, but could not help laughing. <laughs> we don't know. We ordered so many things, we don't have any money. <laughs> then the Grandfather Mountain smiled at the bears. It is important that you rest. We will be thinking while you sleep. The bears were quite relieved and curled up in a cozy cave. In the middle of the night, they had heard the mountains whispering about the hats. The bears smiled and went back to sleep. In the morning, the bears had a curious answer for the... The mountains had a curious answer for the bears. All that they would say was, Go now and be happy. Your laughter will pay the bill. That was all. The puzzled bears ran down to the mailbox just in time. And as they piled into the mail truck... They could still hear the laughter echoing in the distance. Ho, 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 ho. There they are, going down to meet the mail truck. As soon as the bears were home, they gathered everyone together and told the story of their journey. But when they finished, there were no smiles. There was no laughter. The mountains and the animals just did not see how being happy would pay the bill. Hmm. Everyone's confused. What are we supposed to do? Look at these guys, the mountains with the refrigerators on top. They look funny. He has glasses on. I didn't realize that. This mount bear is listening to music. The five bears knew that this would never do. They would have to do something quickly. Suddenly, one little bear ran up and whispered something to one of the mountains. The mountain smiled. Then it chuckled. Then it began to laugh harder and harder. <laughs> <laughs> Soon all three mountains were laughing. They began to shake with laughter. It was an earthquake of laughter. The rocks were rolling down and the animals were bouncing every which way. But they were laughing so hard themselves that they were not even frightened. <laughs> Everyone's enjoying their laughter.
It seemed that the wonderful laughter would never end, but finally everyone simply had to stop and catch his breath. In the quiet, in the quiet moment that followed, one little bear said he felt like he was glowing. So do we, exclaimed the mountains, and they were. Everyone smiling and glowing, shiny. Look at this happy giraffe. I'm so happy. You are glowing, shouted the animals, and they all stared in amazement. The shaking laughter had uncovered bright, shining crystals all over the mountains. They were flashing in the sunset light. The animals ran to pick them up. Ooh, oh, here's a bay one. I got one over here, too. Look at them, they're all so shiny. <laughs> now the five bears knew just what the Grandfather Mountains had meant. They ran to find a box, and what a time the animals had filling it up. When they were finished, they stared into the box with fascination. It is a box of light, exclaimed one giraffe. Wow. Bing. A box of shiny crystals. The next morning, the special box was sent to the catalog company. Of course, everyone wanted to know what the little bear had said that was so funny, but he would only giggle, and the mountains just smiled and said they felt much lighter than ever before. Because all their crystals got packed up into that box. <laughs> there they are, carrying the box over to the mail truck. Bring me your boxes. I like that cute little mail truck. Several days later, a letter came from the catalog. The company was thrilled with what they had found in the box. The bill had been much more than paid off. In fact, there was now a large credit available. They all cheered. The five bears immediately sent a mysterious rush order back to the catalog. I wonder what they ordered. Hooray! We've got money to spend. <laughs> These bears over here are still listening to music. <laughs> what wonderful days these had been. The night the animals all lay under the stars. That night the animals all lay under the stars and saw themselves in the universe. When sleep finally came, they, had all, they all had dreams of what they could order next from the catalog. And later, while they slept, there was a rumble of laughter in the distance. Hmm. For at that very moment, the Grandfather Mountains were putting on their brand new hats. Look at that. They got sent hats from the bears. Fantastic. That's the end. That is The Mountains Crack Up. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. Please take care of yourself and please take care of others. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.